Hey everybody, it's Deanna with ToolsOfEnergyProtection.com, your energy shift expert. See if I can get this here, just a second, a little technical difficulty, okay. Hope everybody on Instagram can hear me. So, hey everybody, it's Deanna, ToolsOfEnergyProtection.com, your energy shift expert. And always doing what I can to try to prove your experience here on um, Facebook. Uh, live and Instagram live. So I've got both cameras up tonight and I'm hoping that I can have everybody come up and uh, join me. There seems to be quite a bit of confusion going on right now on the planet with what's happening and um, it's just, it's nuts. <laughs> Plain and simple. So here we are, March 5th, 2019. And uh, for those of you that watch um, what's going on with the alignment of the planets and the stars and all that kind of thing, um, uh, hi, Alex, hi, hi to Ed, and hi to Stephanie. If you're really into watching what's going on in the planet, you're going to notice that Mercury is in retrograde in Pisces. So it, what that means is if you haven't already backed up your computer, if you um, haven't uh, backed up your phone or something like that. You might uh, get on that right now because um, the electromagnetism, the electromagnetic frequency, Schumann's uh, harmonic frequency is going crazy. If you've been following that, you'll notice it's up and down. And this one lately has been absolutely white all the way up and down, which means uh, it's like a kapow, you know, type energy, which shifts our hearts, our minds, and our bodies. And uh, the uh, the the um, there's been an alignment of all the planets going direct, which means it's kind of like all the marionette strings being straight for a while. And if you're used to having been jumbled up or had things kind of misaligned, um, then when everything goes straight, you wig out. You're like, wow, this is freaky because everything is hanging or being in a straight line. So. Um, it's, it's just very, even I'm having a hard time tonight, it's very challenging because our minds aren't able to process uh, when things are going in a straight line, when things are going correctly. Um, our minds have a tendency to want to create trauma or drama or have problems because our ego mind or our human mind, that's how we learn. So if you think about lifting weights, so if you're wanting to lose weight, if you don't have any resistance, your body's not resisting anything, you might as well just think about it all day long. Uh, because like me, you're not going to lose weight if you just, you know, if you just do nothing or you're sedentary. You, it takes movement. So the subconscious mind um, will bring up energy that it wants to deal with and the ego mind will make a big deal out of it when really there's nothing to make a big deal out of. Hi, Ron. Thanks for joining us. Um, but uh, what's going on right now, uh, in case you haven't noticed, is that things really just seem off. Um, the Bible talks about uh, a, um, it's harder for a wealthy man to go through the eye of a needle kind of thing. And, um, basically, it, it's talking about our ego self having to be humble and aligned with spirit or source and allowing the blessings in order for us to pass through life. And so if, in case you don't know, uh, tomorrow, actually starting tonight, um, Mountain Time just uh, recently opening, there's a portal opening up. And a portal is um, like an elevator, goes up and down. And um, the portal is uh, it's really challenged. I'm, I'm trying to channel what's happening and tell you what's happening. <laughs> it's just like there's so much static. Uh, going on, I apologize, but the um, the uh, electromagnetism and the, the spiritual energy that's going on right now is opening a portal to the new uh, dimensional possibilities, if you will, the new paradigm energies, if you will, and we've gone through um, so much over the last year. And we've gone through so much over the last several months, and it just seems like it keeps coming and it keeps coming, and uh, the energies are intense and they're extreme, and I'm like, you know, when do we catch a break? <laughs> and right now there are no breaks. 
Uh, this is go time, and it's been go time for a while. So this is your opportunity to, to really transform your lives. And transform was a buzzword a number of years ago. Transformational this and transformational that. It's still somewhat a buzzword. But the buzz is real. And, you know, I was asking God, Spirit, or Source, uh, what's really going on with this new dark phase of the moon and the sun lining up? And there's just so uh, high that there's so much happening at the same time. Hi, Autumn. Um, and I'd like for you to take a moment tonight. Thank you for the hearts. And put a question in, in the feed. If you're on Instagram or from Facebook Live, and let me know how things are going in your life because this is, um, I'm challenged for words. And for those of you that have seen me in person or been with me for a while, you know I'm normally not challenged to speak. <laughs> but tonight and today has just been different. There's so many things that have been presented to me in my life that uh, things that I've known, things that I've been used to, things that are high patty, uh, that are that have been going on for a long time. And now it's like there's a new awareness about those things. There's a difference in how I'm seeing them, a difference in how I'm experiencing them. And it's really kind of scary because I feel like I'm at a crossroads and I'm deciding which way am I going to go with this. And what's interesting is it seems like both ways are extremely possible. And uh, if you will, both ways are extremely pregnant. You know, they've got lots of possibilities in them. But it's up to me to make that decision about where I'm going. Am I going to follow this route or am I going to follow this route? Um, and there seems to be nothing to tip the scales. That's why it's so confusing to me because there's no clear path. And usually there's a clear path or I'll ask the boss, hey, you know, I'm having some trouble down here. Can you illuminate something? And I don't know if you've ever looked at something in your life and it seems to glow or something jumps out even more than anything else does. And that's uh, usually how I live my life. And right now it's like I'm at the crossroads and I think there's a poem called The Road Less Traveled, you know, and the guy's standing there and he's looking down one road, you know, and it's well traveled and the other side's got weeds and grass all over the place. You can't decide which way to go. And in the end he decides to do the less traveled route. So this is where we are. It, it's an awkward, interesting, kind of weird path that we are in our lives right now rhythms that we've had in our lives don't, aren't really making sense anymore. There's new illumination of things. Um, uh, hi over there, angel soul. <laughs> um, Instagram, real person. Uh, there's, there's just a huge, just a huge amount of things changing but staying the same. It's weird. Sorry, I'm having a little challenge uh, attempting to describe it. And and like I said, normally those of you with me are, are pretty know that I'm pretty eloquent. But this uh, sun uh, and this moon and and the phase of the direction of the Pisces energy, it's just it's weird. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you um, a few tools, and I'm going to invite you to a few different things, and then I'm going to end. Um, tonight. So if you do have anything that you'd like to ask, please do put it in, in one of the feeds. Um, maybe you're, you're just as weird as, weirded out as I am, <laughs> having trouble speaking eloquently. But um, basically all the pieces of our lives are coming together. They're converging together. There's still some time distortion things that are happening. I'm not notice noticing that things are appearing or disappearing but I'm noticing that I'm having trouble keeping up with linear time and linear reality. Um, I have a lot on my plate. I have a lot of things that I do. Uh, for those of you that are just joining me um, on this journey, you know, I a single parent uh, online school of, of my daughter, which is a lot of work in itself. And I run this business. Um, this is what I do for a full-time living. 
and that's a lot of work in itself. But I, I found a place for everything to kind of fit. And the last few weeks, everything just blew up. All the pieces went everywhere. And now they're starting to settle again. And I'm attempting to decide what's going to fit where. And I'm starting to see the pieces a little differently. If you've ever played with a jigsaw puzzle, you know, if you turn it one way, you see part of the picture. If you turn it the other way, it's the back side of the jigsaw. Um, so let's see. I do have one question here. It says, uh, Judy says, I am operating at a higher realm, synchronicity, and new connections are abounding. I feel good. Great. Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, maybe there's a few of you out there that are also operating at that higher realm and, and synchronicity and new connections. That's great, Judy. Big kisses to you. I'm so glad you're experiencing that. Uh, maybe some of us are a little bit more behind the eight ball <laughs> than you are. <laughs> Still trying to figure it out. But uh, this is not my first uh, rodeo as they would say, this is not my first time out. I got a few years uh, on the planet. And so when I first became aware of energies, when I first started out um, being aware that I wasn't weird, that these energies were happening and I was feeling weird because there were energies happening and not just because, you know, whatever random reason. And so that was about 12, uh, maybe 13 years ago that, um, I really started working with this. I started training in this area about 15 years ago. I figured that out because my daughter was very uh, small. And um, it didn't take too long before I went from just being aware of the energies to looking at Akashic Records as a book of life and clearing the energies. Uh, then ex then um, I taught that for a number of years. And then I began to work more one-on-one -on -one with people to help them clear their own energies and what i realized is just like now we all have choices life is about choices and even if you say i'm not making any choices i'm just sticking right here you've made a choice okay <laughs> uh, you can't have one side of the penny without the other people sorry <laughs> so in in total openness tonight and sharing with you all, um, and thanking you for watching, the watching live or on the replay. Um, I, I've been doing this a long time, and I've seen a lot of energy transformations. I've seen uh, big things happening on the planet, and uh, in just the short time I've been watching. And now is huge. This is a time on our planet where the energy is so intense. And um, I know I have a few people that are, oh, thank you for the hearts and the, and the thumbs up. I know I have a few people that watch me in India, uh, and I have a few people that watch me in Great Britain. So uh, they're a little bit different political scene. But if you're watching or even peeking at what's going on here uh, in, in this country, in America, the, the political scene is really showing us what's happening at the spirit level. It's really showing us the tumultuous energy that's happening at the spirit level. And so this is a time for you, uh, if you're watching here tonight, um, uh, know that you're here for a reason. And um, that I do value and appreciate each and every one of you who watch and uh, who, who join me. Um, but this is a time that we're getting ready to take our next big leap. So if you remember last year in August, we had the eclipse. When the eclipse happened, there was a new energy that came and superimposed over the old energy. And that's when the races started taking off. And then we went through a whole period of working on ourselves. All last year was basically different aspects of working with ourselves and our relationships to people or money or jobs or um, you know just all it was like we were in the center and relationships kept coming up and then we entered the period of working on our shadow selves which means for those of you new to this it means our darker inner sides um, things we don't normally show people things that may not come up for us and a lot of folks worked on that and now we are at a spot where we're basically selecting where we're going to go for the next 10 years. 
we're selecting our trajectory, if you will. Where are you headed? Where are you going? And that's why so many of us are stuck, except for a couple of you out there who are already rolling, good for you. <laughs> but we're at this, this, this crossroads of what are we going to do? Are we going to continue to carry the old trash, the old baggage, the old beliefs forward and attempt to go forward, which, by the way, they will not fit in the eye of the needle, just so you know. Or are we going to notify them, get rid of them, resolve them, and come forward with a whole uh, new energy? Are we going to walk into the blessings, the divine love, the positivity for our lives? Or are we going to keep walking on the negative? It, it's, you know, it's not easy. Some, some of my clients I talked to, I had a new client last Thursday. I had two new clients last Thursday. And if they're watching, hi to them. And they both have gotten themselves in a position in the 3D world, which is not good. And it's going to be tough for them to get out of it simply because of laws of the land. But if they choose to change the direction they're going, things will move them along and the process will move easier than they could have imagined. That's the magic that's happening right now. And it, all it requires is that you choose to go on with positive things. You choose to look at every, all the pieces in your life and which color, which side are you looking at? The colored side that makes the picture or the dark side that mucks things up? And do the best you can to walk forward. I have one question over here. Melissa says, how can I stay grounded and calm during this time? <laughs> Love you, Melissa. <laughs> Even I've been challenged the last couple of days. But in all honesty, it's, there's a seven-step process. So if you, uh, and I'll post it in the feeds um, later, and on Instagram I'll post it for you, but um, there's a seven-step process that I found. Um, I looked at the steps that I'd written out, and this was in, I think, 2000, I'm going to say 16, but it was before that. And they were steps that I found through all of my studies, through working with my mentors, to listening to my guidance. These are seven steps that you can take that are sequential to change your life. Logically, very easy steps. Emotionally, eh, I'm going to need some help with that. So if you will go later to toolsofenergyprotection.com, I'm going to post a link in the Energy Shift update today and under the blog. And I'll post them here, uh, Instagram best I can, and then here also uh, in Facebook and YouTube. Um, but it, it's an invitation for you if you're ready to change, if you don't know how, if you're wanting to accelerate. Melissa, if you're wanting to stay calm during this time, it's a seven-step sequential process and how to work through these things and get going. Will it happen overnight? No. Have I used it on myself to change? Yes. Um, it, it, if you're ready, then I'm ready for you. So I'll post that link and you can go over there, watch the video and decide, you know, if it's something you might want to participate in. If it is, um, then go ahead and click that you're ready, and we're going to get together uh, about half an hour, and we're going to talk about where you are, what's happening for you, where you'd like to go, what do the puzzle pieces look like, and we're going to work on getting you a, a plan to move forward. And I'm devoting about 20 to 30 minutes to each person, so it might take me a little bit to get through. Um, the request, but I will get to them. And I'm not going to charge for this because this is some pretty heavy stuff. And I'd rather that everybody get some help than to get no help at all. So that's at toolsofenergyprotection.com. 
just scroll down, click on the blog for the day. It's going to be the energy shift update March uh, 5th. Thank you for the comments there. And we'll do that. Then um, if you don't have pen and paper, um, then make sure you stay posted to one of these two uh, or three channels. <laughs> and um, I will get you the information again. But this coming up Thursday and Friday, I'm going to be at the For Heaven's Sakes bookstore in Denver. And uh, for those of you that don't know, on uh, Friday, uh, they have a fair day. So there's a discounted price. So if you're needing a little help financially um, um, to get in, then call the bookstore for Heaven's Sakes Books in Denver, 303-469. Sorry. <laughs> you think after a while I would know it. Hey, 303-964-9339. That's what it is. Uh, and, and get on the schedule for Thursday or if you're needing a little discount on Friday, um, it's, it's too late to call tonight, but I would recommend you call first thing in the morning because that thing usually fills up pretty quick. If you're out of state, um, then I can uh, get together with you on Thursday, especially on Thursday. But Friday, you got to come into the store um, to, to get the discounts. And then uh, if you need some tools and different things that the store offers, they'll be um, discounted on that day as well. So it's kind of nice to get all your shopping done that way. Then uh, the weekend after that, pretty exciting stuff. Um, the weekend after that is the Denver Celebrations Fair, Body Mind Expo, they call it these days, down at the Denver Merchandise Mart. That will be on uh, the 15th, 16th, and 17th of March. And it is amazing. I've heard a few people said they were going to be in town for that. So if you have a weekend, you want to get away and come on down and stay and go see the rest of Denver. But it will be three days. All the information is on my website. And there is a link on my website that says personal sessions. And for the first time this year, I'm actually going to pre-sell spot at the event. And if you hadn't heard, the event is $20, 20 minutes. Okay. That's not my normal rate. That's far from my normal rate. So if you've been waiting to see me, getting to know me, and you want to come see what I look like in person, you want to sit down and have a little chat uh, and get some energies cleared for you, uh, then come on down to the Denver Merchandise Mart. And that, uh, I think there's an entry fee to get in. I think it's like seven bucks or something uh, to get in. But then after that, it's $20, 20 minutes. Um, and that's March 15th, 16th, and 17th. So there is another opportunity for you to come and get some help. And I do no phone calls for those three days. I just don't. It literally wipes me out. I'm uh, up at 7 a.m. and I usually don't get into bed until 9 or 10 o'clock by the time I get home from that uh, expo. And it's amazing. There's other people there if you want to come and just kind of get a taste and see who's in the community. Um, there are some people that come in from out of state uh, to be with us at that time. So there's another opportunity. Uh, and if you want to buy a session, you know, jump on uh, personal sessions because I will be running that special this week. It is on my uh, book a personal session and look for the uh, expo fair rate. And then you can book yourself a time. But don't be late because I'm not holding spots if you're late. <laughs> Let me see if I have any other questions. Uh, nope, Ed says, uh, oh, he was thanking me for closing uh, a portal. Not the one that's coming up, but a portal at his place. Says he's sleeping better now. That's great, Ed. Uh, that's uh, amazing. So let's see if I have any more questions. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So uh, that's it. Um, I'm going to wait just a couple minutes for a few more questions, and uh, then we're going to going to wrap it up. And I thank you all for coming on tonight, waiting a little bit to come on because it took me a little bit. Uh, now I'm balancing the Facebook and then uh, also the Instagram at the same time is a little bit of an interesting challenge. Uh, but I I would like um, if there's anybody in my audience who is looking uh, to uh, uh, to I uh, have a little extra work. I am looking for someone to help me out in a few projects that I have. So you'll, of course, have to have some qualifications, and you'll also uh, need to have some um, 
uh, references. But I do have a couple projects coming up that I could use some help on. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, private message me, or uh, reach me on my um, toolsofenergyprotection.com, that would be great. But anyway, that's it. It's just nuts right now. Um, I'm so glad that Judy, you are, have found that you're doing really well, uh, that you're getting uh, things going, and the rest of us are having trouble <laughs> doing it. But uh, if you would like, again, just to kind of recap for you, um, if you are having challenges uh, it's, it, with what you're experiencing in your life and you feel hung up and you feel like you're in between two places and you can't figure out to go to the left or the right or which one's better for you or you want to let go of the old beliefs and do the new things and carry forward, you know, uh, which, uh, which way are you going? Okay, that, that's the pervasive thing with this new portal opening up. It's going to ask you to push things to one side or the other. The puzzle piece, is it going to be the side with the picture on it or the side uh, that's one color? And so if you're ready to transform your life truly um, and you're ready to go forward with that, then um, I'm willing to help you process uh, and focus on creating a relationship and loving yourself and working through building a relationship with yourself, getting to know yourself and like yourself, and gain clarity mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually about where you're going, and then work on helping you trust yourself. That's paramount right now in going forward. That's why we did so much shadow work last year. And then I'm going to invite you to, to change incrementally, in incremental simple steps to go forward in your life, and I'm going to clear the energy for that to help you move forward. And if you don't know what energy clearing is, if you come on and watch me on Facebook or Instagram and go, who is this woman and what the schmeg is, is energy clearing, <laughs> I'll do a really quick demo for you. Um, energy clearing is energy in motion. All of you are energy in motion because we don't always sit still. And even with we do our skins growing, so it's still in motion. Your heart, your heart is where emotions are stored. If you don't believe me, the next time you're upset, take a moment and feel your, your body. Is your body like, um, totally at peace? Or is it like, Arr! you know, and you have tension, go around with your shoulders up like this, right? I have a girlfriend who has earrings. They're her shoulders because she walks around like this all the time. <laughs> and, you know, if that's you, uh, or your heart aches, you know, somebody breaks up with you or somebody hurts your feelings and your heart just aches physically. That's energy in motion. Hello. Okay. Not woo-woo. Metaphysical, but not woo-woo. So what happens is that when we have that energy in motion, it blocks us from going forward. It blocks us from inviting more money into our lives. It, it blocks us from inviting better relationships into our lives. It blocks us from health. Health, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. So when your energy is off, have you ever had one of those days that goes to the poop? You start off, your day's bad, you go out, you try to start your car, your car doesn't start, or you finally get it started, you go down the street, and somebody almost hits you, somebody cuts you off in traffic, somebody flips you the bird, you get to work, your boss is angry, you got things stacked up on your desk this high that you know you can never get to, and the boss brings you something else, and then somebody doesn't make enough coffee or coffee spills, and blah, 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 blah. That's energy in motion, people. And right now, I'll tell you one thing for sure, portal or no portal, the energies on this planet are so tense and so tight right now that people that can manifest what they want, you know, manifestors they ask and they receive, you know, they are going to be manifesting things very quickly. So you can manifest positive or you can manifest negative, which is it going to be? <laughs> which direction are you going? Because manifesting is happening so quickly right now that it's, it's almost frightening. And people that don't know about it, you know, don't realize what's happening. But energy in motion, magnetics are our energy in motion. And well, this one may be not as strong, but if you are in a happy mode, in a loving mode, then what's going to do is the universe is going to allow you to attract that into your life. 
if you are upset, if you are angry, then the universe may kind of push good things away from you, but you'll attract those things in your life. So my question is, what are you, what's in your heart and what are you attracting? You know, what's, what is it? What is it that you're putting forward and drawing things into your life? That's why I'm offering for you to have this 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes with me to talk about what's going on in your life. See what direction you are. Come up with a game plan to get things turned around so you can start getting more positive things in your life. Having some mental clarity. Becoming more aware of what you're attracting, how you're attracting it, and if you don't want it, how not to attract it anymore. So, are there any other questions? I'm sorry, I forgot to check the feed. Ah, let's see here. Oh, Judy says I sent a positive message for everybody. Thank you, Judy. You're awesome. <laughs> uh, hi, Nikki. Hi, Janine. Um, good. So it looks like you're, you're experiencing positive things, and then looks like oh, can see Ed on Friday. That that works. <laughs> That's it. So I thank you all very much for being uh, with me. If you didn't get to write down the celebrations fair and where it's going to be and when it's going to be or the fair that, you know, that's coming up uh, Friday, Thursday and Friday, toolsofenergyprotection.com and click on events or click on personal sessions to get hooked up with me and we'll get everything rocking in the right direction. Be safe, breathe, and remember to, if I can show it without, yeah, remember to drink lots of water. Okay, please remember right now in all these uh, times when the energies are changing quickly, please drink plenty of water for your body type uh, and your uh, what's going on in your world. So with that, I'm going to let you go. Have a great and wonderful night. Big hug and kisses to everybody. Bye-bye.